we had no idea what we were, was going to transpire when he came in with the MTV people, right? But he was just, to, to put it simply, a pain in the ass, right? He was lazy. He, uh, you know, he wanted to party. He wouldn't show up to practices on time. And as well as the boys got along with him on that one weekend visit, before he left, I had a line at my, at my front door saying, can I kick his ass? Can I punch him? And I, no, no, you can't do any of the above, right? But then we also found out that he had washed out of fireman school. He washed, I think he went to police, he tried to police academy. So he was had basically washed out of several places and then found out that the family had spent well into six figures putting him through rehab a couple of times. Mm-hmm. But this, we were blind to all that, right? It, it, it seemed like he was frequently hung over on the show. Uh, there, there was a point in the show where you confronted him about doing drugs. Yes. Um, anything you want to elaborate on, on that confrontation or, or any well, other well, stories? Everyone seemed to think uh, he was smoking grass or it was a, a joint. It wasn't. Okay. I had found what a homemade crack pipe, basically, or coke i'm not sure exactly i had uh because we dealt with the motel in front of the gym right up just a block from the gym uh i had people in and out of there so and and he was that's where he was staying opposed to renting an apartment or anything so the people knew at the motel knew that they knew me so i'd gone here was best of practice said i'm I'm tired of this i'm going over to the motel and you know drag his butt out of the room if i Mm -hmm. have to physically so anyway and he was not i said so i asked so let me, I need to get in there. If he's if he's in there, or if he's not, I need to leave him a note, right, and tell him, hey, this has got to come to an end. Either you get your butt in the gym, or go home, something, right? So I went in, and the place was in such a dis. Looked like a hurricane had come through the place, but he wasn't there. And as I'm looking for, a, you know, I'm writing a note, look, and I see this uh, light reflecting off this thing, landing right in the middle, of, and it was a homemade crack pipe out of, I guess, Reynolds wrap or however they do that. And I don't do crack, so I couldn't tell you. So so it wasn't that he, you know, would I have been, uh, if, if smoking the grass it had kept him a practice, yes, I'd have been just, uh, you know, upset with that. But uh, my God, that wasn't what it was, right? right? So that's what I had confronted him with. What I pulled out of my pocket on that segment of the show was that crack pipe, right? And uh, plus I'd heard he'd been going to clubs uh, and uh, said, I'm a wrestler. And as, of course, you heard me say, not until I tell you. 